What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecola Espresso and welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to be doing some speculating here on Advanced Warfare. If nothing else pops up, then there will probably be a similar video tomorrow for you guys because from the one from a video that I found, I got some pretty interesting stuff to bring to you guys, at least from what I think it is. But I was up late last night reevaluating some things and man am I excited to bring you guys a theory that I have here. I haven't seen anything similar to it on YouTube at all. So enough with the chit chat, what is it that I found interesting? Take a look at the screenshot on screen right now pulled from the behind the scenes video that detailed the making of this story make sure that you look at everything in the image and if you caught the rockets that's what we're gonna be focusing on here today I know the behind the scenes video isn't a new video but I decided to go over numerous things that I've covered to see if there was anything worth reporting to you guys now as I go through videos I try to catch every little background image or something so what does this have to do with anything these rockets that I saw well frankly when I first was curious and was looking at the image I had absolutely no idea Idea. So what I love about technology is that I was able to reverse image search the screenshot from part of the frame that I took and found the exact image and article that it was from. So that article is in relation to the use of Hellfire missiles in Iraq from January this year. I'll leave the full article down below, but unless you're into international politics and the war on terror, I'm not entirely sure that you'd find it interesting, but who knows, maybe you will. So I'll leave that link down in the description below. Now, what in the world do Hellfire missiles have to do with anything in relation to advanced warfare, you may ask? This is is where the speculation comes in. There are two ways that I can see this coming into play. Both, I'm sure you'll be happy to hear, have connections to multiplayer. While they end up in single player, I'm imagining, these theories are mainly based off the multiplayer experience. Now back from a bunch of the E3 interviews and gameplays for Advanced Warfare, the final ship you're needed to set a charge on and ultimately takes out your partner, the Younger Irons, I distinctively remember that being an aircraft that shot rockets similar to a mobile missile silo. I went back and looked for the exact interview for confirmation for you guys, but I could not find it, but I do distinctively remember it was Michael Condry who said it. If anyone has any luck with that, finding it or knows what interview I'm talking about, feel free to post it below. But my thinking is that these Hellfire missiles could be the basis for a design of a similar rocket in this aircraft. So how does this connect to multiplayer? The return of a mortar fire kill streak. The last game that we had a classic reign of hell that was a legitimate mortar fire was World at War, if I'm not mistaken. To me, it would be absolutely awesome to see that return. So as for my other theory, while it's plausible, it still feels kind of incomplete to me. This being that these missiles seen on the monitor of the designer could be a model for a similar streak, but something we're more accustomed to seeing as of lately in Call of Duty titles. Similar to the Predator missile in Modern Warfare 3, the Hellstorm missile in Black Ops 2, and the Trinity rockets in Go. So while these theories are a little bit different from each other, I do believe that we could have a little bit of a hint at one of our airborne killstreaks. While I'm not saying this is confirmed or anything like that, I do find it interesting that a random image of a Hellfire missile is left in plain view, even though it's just for a split second amongst an official Call of Duty video. Like I said, if we don't have any breaking news for Advanced Warfare tomorrow, we're going to be taking a look at another piece of that same screenshot that I found interesting as well and would like to bring you guys my thoughts and speculation on it. So that's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Do you guys think this is plausible that this little bit of a teaser that we saw could be the indication of an airborne killstreak similar to a mortar fire or something similar in Advanced Warfare's multiplayer? If you did like the video, please leave a like rating down below. Any shares of your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you're OG like that are always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. Any new news and information, you guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Nicolai Espresso. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs>